what you do on the AC and this is my 20 top 20 list for 2020 with my top 20 favorite Pokemon uh, my childhood franchise that I love and still love into my adulthood so let's get started with number 20 Primate uh, the reason this is on my list and the reason I like it so much and think it's so cool mainly has to do with the anime whenever Ash briefly had a Primate I just thought it was the coolest Pokemon, and then when you can catch Mankey early in the game and just continue with there, Primate, always been one of my favorites. Number 19, Greninja. Now this one, I feel like I'm just obligated to put it on my list because it is so cool. I mean, it's a frog ninja. Like, it's just automatically a cool Pokemon, so I can't deny a spot on my list. Number 18, Gigalith. I think this is one of the coolest and most creative rock types, really. And I mean, I love using it in black and white, and you know, I can't really think of any other rock type. I don't like it that's cooler completely. I'll get there though. Number 17, Evil Top. Ah, this is a cool legendary from X and Y. Ooh. <laughs> It's also the only legendary for some reason I put on my list, but it looks, it's, I mean, it has it in the name, Evil. It seems like this really cool, dark Pokemon, and I mean, the description for it is kind of terrifying, too. Number 16, Pineco. A random Pokemon, I know, but for some reason, I thought it was so cute always. I remember it in gold, I would just go, and it would be one of those random Pokemon you would find in Headbutt, and I just love Headbutt and Trees, and for some reason, Pineco would always be be one of my favorites. Number 15, Totodile. <laughs> the little happy Pokemon. It's just so cute. It's just, I mean, really, it's so happy and it makes you happy just looking at it. Also, in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, I started off as a Totodile and the first time I played Totodile was with a partner. So I always keep a Totodile. I have a level 100 for Alligator because I love Totodile. Ugh. Number 14, Elgium. Not, this also just seems random, but it's just a cute little alien looking like Pokemon. I even thought it was so cute in one of my Spanish classes. I made a pinata out of one. <laughs> it, and it was really good too. Number 13, Star Raptor. The coolest of the bird Pokemon by far. And it just seems awesome and strong. I used loving it. I would just sweep Pokemon away with it. <sighs> Number 12, Torterra. A cool pretty much a continent Pokemon and it was always so strong it's something I would always play with and Platinum it just seemed unstoppable while I was using it. Number 11 Tyranitar. The other rock type I think is just awesome but it's kind of in a different category from the other rock types. It's rock and dark and it's just cool and it's like a monster. It's so cool. I mean it's just obviously cool. Number 10 Heracross. The coolest bug Pokemon by far. I mean, it has some competition with like Scyther, but Heracross, it just seems strong. Probably also come from the Heracross that was in the anime. So, yeah. Number nine, Umbreon. The best evolution. It's dark, it's kind of mysterious, and it's just overall cool. <laughs> Number eight, Furry. Uh, the reason I love this Pokemon is because I love ferrets. Ferrets are my favorite animal. And fur is just a cute Pokemon too. Oh, I want a fur so bad. If I have a fur, oh, I want that too. Number seven, Chikorita. Just the cutest of the grass stars and some reason I just love it. It's simple. It's just like a little, little thing with a leaf on its head. It's simple, but it's cute. And I just always have loved it. Number six, unknown, but the question mark. Now we're getting into the territory of Pokemon I just love. For no reason i don't know why and that's why question mark is my favorite unknown because i even got one up to level 100 and people ask me why i'm like eh, that's why it's a question mark number five skeptile ah the cool cool grass starter it's just really one of the definitions of a cool and then it eventually got mega evolution that was also awesome and it's just strong i, I feel like it's one of the strongest starters too maybe that's just my own biased opinion because i love it so much Number four, Rillaboom, another grass starter. This one is complete bias because I just love drums and it's just an awesome Pokemon. I mean, it has a drum set as, I guess, a weapon as just part of it. And this Mega Evolution, not Mega Evolution, Gigantamax form is awesome. 
Number three, Yamper. This thing is so cute. Oh, it's so cute. It almost makes me want to bring tears to my eyes because just seeing it run around in like Pokemon Shield, it just chases you. I got one of these up to level 100 off so just because I thought it was so cute. I never wanted to evolve it. Number two, Shuckle. Yeah, Shuckle. <laughs> Shuckle is a weird one. I love Shuckle just because of how weird it is and just how ridiculous its defense is. And it's another one of these, it doesn't make sense of why I like it so much. I just do. I just like it so much. Even in Pokemon Shield, I wore a Shuckle shirt for a really long time. Until the expansion pass came out, then I just wore those basic clothes. But Shuckle, Shuckle is awesome. Have a level 100 of it too. And then number one, the most random, probably anyone would think of, Dunsparce. I cannot tell you why I love Dunsparce so much. I think it's because it... At one point, it was getting a lot of hate. I was like, you know what, Dunsparce, I love you. You are awesome. I'm going to get you, raise you to level 100. It was one of the first level 100 Pokemon I ever raised. Yeah, and it's not like an incredibly strong Pokemon, but it's just, it's a weird design that I just love. And it's just, uh, it's kind of cute. It's kind of weird. It's just, it, it deserves love. So I'm giving all my love to Dunsparce. And there you go. Those are my top 20 favorite Pokemon. You may have noticed that a lot of them are second gen it's because gold is my favorite Pokemon game heart gold was like the best remake of any video game i i think but, oh man. the a lot I, like i said and for a lot of them some are just really cool some of them are just things i'm interested in in my real life some of them are just cute or weird and a lot of it's just nostalgia that's mainly where all these come from it's nostalgia either from the games or from the show but hey, I mean, who cares, right? But if you care, let me know why you think I'm wrong or if you agree with my list. Let me know what your favorite Pokemon are in the comments. Let's just talk about all the Pokemon we can, right? But if you did like hearing my list, like the video, you want to hear more about my 20 top 20 lists, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You can see why I do all that. But until next time, I'm the AC. Thank you for watching and bye.